so many of you have been requesting that I do the newest mini brands mystery boxes called Foodie Mini Brands. The concept behind this mystery box is that you're getting different foods from actual restaurants. In previous mini brands, you're able to get different kinds of toys, or we were able to get different kinds of foods. However, this time, it's actual meals. That's the difference. This one was foods, packaged items, and this one is supposed to be meals. I'm a little worried about this set because there are a lot of these brands that are kind of international, except here in Little Quebec. Because as Little Greens here in Quebec, we are not allowed to have every single brand of food unless they have French on them. Ah yes, the French police. Actually, we do. Look it up. <laughs> So I'm actually curious if we're going to get any of these here in Canada because we don't have a lot of these brands. So this was sent to me by none other than Ace of Clay, the real MVP here. So if you like amazing sculptures and beautiful art, check out Ace of Clay. I will link his channel down below. But basically I sent over Salty Crafter and she decided to ride on a pigeon for some reason. I don't know what's going on there. And then on her way back she decided to take a submarine. I don't even know. Don't ask me questions about Salty crafter look at her walk in the forest this is just her doing her thing <laughs> so because I want my first impression to be genuine I did not look at any spoilers all I saw were the postings online and whatever you grains tagged me on and I have quite a few of them but let's see how many we get into because I think there are five different surprises in each one but I could be wrong and it says unbox ultra rare frozen moment minis and it's a Carl's jr. we don't even have that here we don't have that in Quebec <laughs> We barely even have Taco Bell. Let me know in the comment section below, what is your favorite takeout food? If I would have to go for junk food, I would definitely say Canadian A&W, which is very different than USA A&W. Their burgers are so good. Oh, and while you're down there, if you're not subscribed, make sure that you do and click on all notifications while you're there. I do hold sharp pointy things and you do learn to love them. So yeah, what you waiting for? And by the way, these were actually pretty cheap in the US. Here in Canada, usually mini brands cost me about $16 to $20 each. However, this was $6.99 US. And to start your mathing, which is this much in Canadian. However, I did pay $40 for shipping, which makes the total about this much since I have 10 of them. So. $6.99 US times 10 converted to Canadian plus $40 shipping. That's how much I paid, okay? We gonna find out if this is worth your cash or if it goes in the trash. All right, so we're just gonna move these out of the, this is gonna be hard. Just move you out of the way. Stay in one place. Stay there. No, 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 stay there. So let's start with our first one and let's see if they are as terrible to unbox as the other ones. Where is this? Where does this start? Okay, it starts from here. That is weird. Okay, because we have another line over here and that definitely confused me. I'm like, what? All right, let's start with you, please. Okay, let's give you a second chance and let's pull. Oh, yes. And from here. Nice. Okay, so we're on to something here. Very satisfactory. Or satisfying, whichever one you want. Don't yell at me in the comments, because y'all like to yell at me in the comments. Okay, we got this. Very nice. Yes. Very nice. And does it have... Oh, okay, that opened easily. Oh, look at that. Okay, the wrappers are in white, which means we need to take out our trusty felt. How many do we have? We have one, two three, four, five, and the guy. Okay. So let's take a look at the guide together to have an idea of what kind of things we can get. So we can get a variety of things from Carl's Jr., which we don't have this here. Cookies from Subway and then Hardee's. Again, we don't have that one here. We also don't have Sonic, but it looks like a Pogo. What's it called in the US again? corn dog? 
I think there's some gyoza, Japanese gyoza, and we can get some fries. Those are really cute. I'm really curious if the shading looks great or if they look like poor quality cabochons like we've done in previous video where we got mystery boxes and mystery bags from AliExpress and they were absolute poo. Here's an example of how the painting looks like on these terrible foods. So it's really going to have to do with the quality of the item. And again, we can get anything from fries, tater tots, chicken rings. What's a chicken ring? Think there might be a White Castle here, maybe, but I don't know if it closed down. Pot stickers, mozzarella sticks, chicken wings. And these seem to be baggies, I'm guessing. We have Friday's shrimp. We also don't have Friday's. <laughs> Ermie Gerd! No way! We can get food court items like a ketchup dispenser, mustard dispenser, a bag I don't care about. What is this? Oh, a napkin dispenser? A soda machine? An e-order thing? I want these. If anything, please let me have at least one of these. What's your favorite condiment? For me, it's ketchup. Okay, let's, let's just keep going. Then we can get a tray, a cash, and it looks like a menu poster. And then there's the other side where we can get a variety of different kinds of drinks more drinks and it looks like there's a super rare golden one. Oh gosh more drinks and another super rare golden one and burgers oh my god and a golden burger also this looks really good i'm excited to see the quality on these and apparently i don't know what these are oh a rice bowl is it just the container that's lazy i hope it opens more burgers oh cute we can also get different kinds of sushi subways and takeaway food boxes and what are these? Oh, these are the ultra rares? Okay, so if we get a cheesy burger or a spilled drink or a hovering kind of cheese here, then I'm guessing these are the ultra rare. So put in the comment section below, do you think we're going to get anything rare this time around? Just to let you know, a lot of these creators who've been getting them early, it's because they're on the PR list of mini brands. But since I exposed one of their videos and show that the packages they send to creators have more rares than the ones we buy in the store, they've removed me from that list. You're welcome. I do this and I sacrifice myself, but I will do it again as a grain of salt. I will throw myself into the volcanic eruption and take it. <laughs> I'll take one for the team. So let's go ahead, move these ones and open one at a time to see what we get. First is... Oh, cute. We have a meatball <laughs> subway. The shading could use some work, but this is actually paper. Yeah. So much like their other items, the paint job is okay. Sometimes it's a hit or miss, but this is adorable. It's definitely not like the gross cabochons that we've been getting on the AliExpress mystery bags. Okay, that is cute. I really like the sculpt, not crazy about the paint job. You, oh wow, that's big. What is that? Holy shrimp, a Crave crate. And these are not openable. So it's basically a takeout box. It's plastic all the way around and you have all the little logos. I've never had White Castle. Is it any good? And if it's good, what do you like about it? Because I know some of you grains like Taco Bell, but you say you suffer the consequences the next day. So I don't know what's enjoyable about it. Oh, that is pretty slim. What are you? Is that a tray? <gasps> no, it's sushi. No, it's <laughs> the emotions. Dumplings. Where's it from? It's called Itsu. I've never heard of that before. We don't have Itsu here. We have Sushi Press. So here we have the dumplings. That is cute. That is cute. I really love this box. And again, this is paper, nicely printed. And it says, freshly steamed and packed here in Itsu. Enjoy our gyoza at home. Very cool. I like the details. So far, I'm really liking this. This is another big one. Oh, this looks to be a tray. Oh. Oh, no, it's not. Oh, okay. Two dumplings in a row. Interesting. So here we have the sauce for the dumplings. We have dumplings and I think this closes. Do you close? Oh, there we go. Doesn't fully close here. It doesn't want to. Let's try. Look at that. No, you see it keeps popping back out. So it's a little miscalculated, but oh my gosh. <laughs> So TGI Fridays has dumplings, or I think they call them pot stickers. The shading on this one is actually really good. You can see where it's cooked versus, you know, the less cooked parts, even though it is cooked. Just the coloration is what I'm trying to say. So yeah, I like this a lot. This set, this set is impressing me so far. Minus this one that doesn't keep close. Let's, let's, let me show you. Hang on. In real time, I pushed it down. 
pop. <laughs> I guess it could be a fidget toy. This is a little chonky. You are, oh, a drink. And this one is from Hard Rock Cafe. So it's a kind of strawberry drink. What do they call it? Basil Lemonade. These were an impressive first haul. I am actually really excited. As long as we don't, please don't give me triples and quadruples. Please, I want to see more. I want to see more. <laughs> and this new batch, what do you have to offer us? This is, oh, this is little. We have a Rise and Shine, I'm guessing coffee mug. Oh, the details. Hello. I love details. Mm. Oh, yeah, that's my thing. Look at it. Everything from the turny nozzle to the dint indent to the little incline of the cup. Oh my god. And again, this one's from Hardee's, so I'm not very familiar with a lot of these brands. I feel like I need to make a trip down to the USA and try some of these things. So if you have recommendations, let me know where and what. Because here we have KFC, Subway, Burger King, McDonald's. Did I say Subway? a and w, Harvey's, Taco Bell. We don't even have Chipotle. Uh, I think that's all we have. If I remember any others, they're on the screen now. You are... Oh, what the shrimp? Wait, where's the burger? Hello? Just the box? Just the box. <laughs> so here we have 100% Angus beef from Carl's Jr. Flavor lit by fire. I'm thinking this is kind of like our Harvey's because I don't think Harvey's is anywhere else. It's like flame broiled. And here's the detail in the back and the sides and the bottom. Hand breaded tender juicy chimkin. Okay. The open. Oh gosh. <laughs> open. Hello. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> it's closed. How do you open this? Do I squeeze? I can't open it again. Oh gosh. I don't think I can open it again. Oh no. Oh gosh. I can't open it. We'll revisit that one later. You, my friend. Oh, look at that. A sundae. That do look quite delicious though. I wonder what this is. Is this supposed to be whipped cream or a chocolate cone type thing? I see the chocolate drizzle and I'm guessing these are kind of like jello chocolate maybe? Or puffs or truffles? I don't know. But this does look pretty good. I love parfaits. I just wish there were like more chocolate somewhere down the middle because otherwise you're gonna run out pretty quickly down here. Oh, that one's long. That's probably a foot long subway. That's my guess. Oh, 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 look at you. Look at you. What is that? Socked? Foot long socked? You can see here S-O-C-T. But in French it says Onion and chicken teriyaki. So, in French it explains it better. And let's see the details. We do have the, I'm guessing, lettuce over here. And then we have the chicken. I don't see much of the onion. And oddly enough, the chicken looks like fries. So they are missing some texture. Let me bring you grains closer so you can see there's no texture on the chicken here. So it definitely needs some work, but we do have a full foot long. Compared to the first one that we got, which is a half foot, six inches. For... It's a nutty. So six inch and 12 feet, and here it is in centimeters for my, my international grains. Very cool. What do we get? Oh, what? Oh, the pogo! Or as many of you would call it, the corn dog. <gasps> it is cute. And the fact that it comes out of the little baggie, I'm in love. It's funny, the smallest thing entertaining. I really like this one a lot. Look at it. <gasps> I love you. Very cute. I've never had a Sonic one, so I don't know what it tastes like. But I do like pogos, corn dogs, hot dogs wrapped in a bun. <laughs> oh gosh. Okay, what are you? No, not another. Oh, okay. Okay, never mind. <laughs> I was like, we can't have 65 items and already have our first double, but no. <gasps> this cheeseburger. Oh my God, that looks delicious. And the melted cheese. And we actually have shading. So the top of the bun is a little toasty and you can see the side here is a little lighter. So it's not toasted on the sides. So we have some good, decent shading. It's not great shading, but we do have it. At least that's good detail. And how's the texture on the burger? Yeah, it's there, it's there. And the paint job is actually pretty decent. I have to say, this is really good. I'm scared now to close it because then I won't be able to open it, but it is from Fridays. Here's the top, front, all the sides and the bottom. So no detail on this packaging, kind of plain, but I'm guessing that's probably how their packaging actually is. 
is. So I love this. Very, very cute. This one is round. Oh no, it could be another corn dog thing. <gasps> what are you? What are you? No! No! We have our first double! I did say I liked it. This is the, yeah, they're both ketchup on top. I did say I liked it, but it was not an invitation for you to be a double. Mm-mm. Universe, that is not how it works, at least to my knowledge. <laughs> I'm not mad, okay? I'm only gonna be mad if we start seeing more of these. That's enough slices now. This one is a little bit more round, so I'm guessing it's just a burger. And it is... No, what are you? Oh, it's like the, the soup. Subway soups. Can we open? No. We cannot open, so it is just a block of plastic. That's basically what it is. Do we have details? Yeah, we have the cap on the top. It says Subway Hot, their logo, and then whatever that copyright thing is. And here's the bottom. So nothing special about this one, but I think it'll look cute on a tray. So hopefully we do get a tray. I didn't spend all this money not to get a tray. You are... <gasps> what are you? Oh, you look delicious. Oh my god. So we have a white castle burger? I'm not sure what are you. If anyone knows what this is. Actually, we do have the paper. I'm getting hungry now. <laughs> cheese slider. So this here is a cheese slider. Okay, what's the white stuff? Is the white stuff supposed to be mayonnaise or is it supposed to be onions? For any of you who've had this before, let me know in the comments. And then this here is absolutely flat and flexible. So it's most likely a bag. I hope it's not the mini brands bag. I hope it's an actual restaurant bag. And it is. No. Uh. <laughs> I did not want you. I did not want you. As much as I like the bags, I want the actual food bags, not, not this takeout bag. But okay, they're cute. And are they actually compatible with their items? And the answer is no. Absolutely not. This is classic mini brands. Look at that. Mini Brand's biggest issue is that their own items are not compatible with each other. Look at the size. This one we can get away with. We can get away with this. But look at that. A burger is not that big compared to a box. Usually not. But okay, I'm gonna let it slide because sometimes places can use smaller bags. You're lucky. You're lucky. And here we come with breaking news. Have you heard of the Super Not Another Crap Kit? As displayed here for you little grains, this is a limited time Super Not Another Crap Kit. It is packed with 23 arts and craft supplies and a very exclusive handmade mold by Nerdy Crafter that looks like this. And you can cast it to make a character that looks like this. And you can make amazing creatures that look like these. And yes, we do offer payment installments. But be quick, these are in limited quantities. And now back to our regular programming. Oh no, this one is also pretty flat and it seems to be a bag, but it's not as large as the other one. So what could you be? A food bag? A food bag? Oh, what is that? A wacky pack. What's a wacky pack? What do you put in here? Oh, this is tiny. Wait, there's something inside. What is that? What the shrimp? What is that? It's from a restaurant called Sonic. Cute details, although I have to admit that Drake looks a little extra happy. And yeah, so I'm guessing this is the equivalent of like a Happy Meal, a Wacky Pack. Can anything even go in there? Just just a little dice thing. I don't I don't know what that coin thing is. I said dice, what I meant coin. I mean, I, I guess, yeah, we can put a subway in there. Only the half, half the subway. Okay, I'm confused as heck. Oh, I think this is another subway and no, oh. I do not know where this is from, but that looks absolutely delicious. I'm getting both hungry and thirsty. <laughs> I'm <laughs> doing this video. So I'm guessing we have a chocolate milkshake. Ah, oh, you know what is good? Chocolate banana. Chocolate banana anything is chef's kiss. And the whipped cream folds are actually very nicely folded. Very cute. The straw has no detail, but apart from that, I'm guessing this is from the Hardee's. It doesn't say. I think that's the logo, right? Yes. And you? What are you? This is a subway. <laughs> no! We got the same one! So we have the meatballs, 
Subway sandwich, the exact same one as our first one. Wait, are these two different reds? No, no, they're fine. Be good, be good. It's just the lighting. I don't want more than two. You are <gasps> our first fries and they're crinkle. Oh my god. There's no shading whatsoever on these, so. Mm. Here's what they look like. I absolutely love crinkle fries. It's kind of like ripple chips. That one right there. Do you prefer ripple chips or do you prefer the straight cut? Look at these two different kinds of chips. And for those of you who are UK grains, they're crisps. Are they crisps? I think y'all call them crisps. So yeah, they could use a little bit of shading, but otherwise I really love this. Super cute. However, I would like to compare it to a burger. Now I don't know if these sizes are supposed to be gigantic, but here's a burger, right? You would assume the fries would be about this big because usually they should be, but no. <laughs> Are White Castle fries this big compared to a burger? I don't think so. That's what I'm saying. Mini Brands has a hard time making their items compatible with each other, unless this is family size. And this one's really round, so it must be a drink. You are a drink, I assume. No, chicken nuggets. Oh wow, these do not have any kind of shading whatsoever. This is, well, they do, kind of, but they're really hard to see. Are they chicken nuggets? Tater tots, okay. So we have tater tots, and for those of you who don't know what tater tots are, they're basically fried potatoes, but in like ball form, and they're shredded on the inside. They're really good. But these are huge. Again, comparing it with the burger, I'm guessing this is, again, family size. This is going to be our last one for today, so let's hope that we do get something rare because I want to unbox the rest of these with my sister Sika, who is a huge foodie. Stop it because you're gonna eat everything! <laughs> So I think we're going to be getting more interesting reactions when she's here. And so let's put our hands together and pray to the mini brand gods of Evermore. Dear mini brand gods of Evermore, please protect me from doubles, triples, Subway sandwiches, and also... Stop giving me bags! And as per tradition, we will take our time to unbox these in real time because the suspense is gonna kill us both. <laughs> okay, let's go. Let's listen. Oh, perfect. Very nice. And then we have to loosen these. Don't try and loosen from the edges, by the way. This is a PSA because the edges here are extremely hard and I've actually hurt my inside of the nail. I've pierced through, that's how bad it is. So make sure that you peel from the side, not the corner. There. Very nice. Where are you? There you are. Okay, next one. Are you going to be satisfying? Yes. And same thing with this one. You could just kind of peel it backwards. Better not. And the spheres are not that well held together, so that's why I've been kind of enjoying cracking them like eggs. <laughs> I don't know why. It's, this is my thing. Oh, no. Oh, no, no. Okay, okay. This is a drink. This has got to be a drink. I thought it was a Subway at first, but I guess not. And it is a drink. Oh wow, what is that? So we have two different blues on top. I'm guessing that's the ice texture, a lemon, and the two blues here, and it is from Hard Rock Cafe. Maybe it's a blue lemonade? Is that a thing? Oh, blue bonanza. I'm really curious to know, is Hard Rock Cafe even that popular where you're from? Because it might be just their attempt to kind of get a little bit more exposure. <laughs> Licensing, yeah, sure, no problem. G give us exposure. This one is kind of flat. Not sure what it could be, and you are. Don't be a double. Oh, oh, what is that? That looks so delicious. Look at the actual shading. You can see the difference in the colors. Are these twisty fries? It's from Hardee's. Here's what the back looks like since 1960. But yeah, this is really gorgeous shading compared to these fries here that barely have any kind of color difference. What are you? We need to find you. Yeah, they are the twisty curly fries. Crispy curly fries. That looks delicious. Suddenly I want potatoes. I want junk food. I rarely eat junk food, but now I want junk food. <laughs> oh no. Oh no. This is going to be a corn dog. This is this is going to be a corn dog, isn't it? It's going to be our third hot dog with the ketchup in the bag thing, isn't it? <sighs> okay. 
Let's just open it and not make assumptions, but I'm guessing it is. Let's see. Oh gosh, please no, no. Oh, yes it is. Yep, and with ketchup, yep, it is exactly the same thing. So now we don't just have one. No, do we have just two, but we have three. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. And then we have these things here. This one is huge. Like it's, it's the, as it's the big. <laughs> it's as big as what I was trying to, the big. It, let's just call it the big. It is the big of this entire segment here. So maybe it's a tray, I don't know. This one feels like it could be a Subway sandwich. What are you? No, a drink. Okay, that's not bad. Because now we have a drink, we have a couple of sandwiches, and we do have the soup. So we kind of have like a trio meal going on. So here it is, not too bad, not too bad. Is this a tray? Please, be a tray. I want a tray. Oh God, this is really hard to open. <gasps> no, it is not. It is not a tray. What, what the shrimp? Is that chicken? Chicken with dipping sauce. Okay, you can see that there's like no distinction, no shading on this whatsoever. It's just neon orange. I mean, it's just ne a neon orange. <laughs> and yes, it does appear to be chicken. However, over here, it looks like a normal chicken wing type color with sauce, as opposed to this neon orange right here. And the sauce looks like cottage cheese. What is that? And so here's everything that we got from this set. I have to say, I really do like this idea and concept. I just wish that we had them here in Quebec. We need to expand our horizon because our choices are very limited. Now we have yet to get anything from the actual set that I really want, which is the ketchup dispenser, the mustard dispenser, the tray, and all of these other goodies. So let's hope that the next batch that we're going to unbox will actually have them. If you want to watch more mystery box unboxings, make sure you check up here. And if you want to watch some fidget toys, make sure you check down here. Until then, I will see you grains in the next video.